Danny Lee here. Pink eye and all. <laughs> we are um, doing a place that I'm fairly familiar with. That being Australia, Oz. Uh, for those of you that, that may not know, I have another channel that's a music reaction channel. I've done like 135 Australian Kiwi reactions. Um, John Pornham, Jimmy Barnes, Vanessa Amorosi, um, Olivia, of course, rest in peace, and yeah, the whole, the whole gang. So, uh, Judith, the Seekers, Bee Gees. I love Aussie music. And, um, I'm an honorary Aussie. Like, shirt says, uh, USC. <laughs> and, um, got that from Michael. Uh, haven't heard from Michael in a while, but, uh, maybe everything's okay. Like Kate Sobrano said, John Stevens is growing on me too. I had a beef with him for a while. Got Daryl Lee stuff back there on the wall, but enough about me. We are going somewhere today that is the farthest away from the Little Rock over there you can get, which is what I call Kiwi, or New Zealand. So yeah, we are going to Perth. And all cities in Australia are on the outer edges because everything inside will kill you. Whether it be the marsupials or the big huge rock that you can fall off of or take a piece and not get cursed by the aboriginals or the originals. And just the weather in general, plant life, just about everything will kill you in Oz. And don't jump in the water either. Don't get no better there. From the Arctic flow that will pull you down to Antarctica or the sharks. And you may find the the mahogany the mahogany ship. Yeah, so yeah, as you can see it's the furthest away from Little Rock. And that is where we're going to focus today. Perth, Australia, or Oz. Pre-earthquake, old world structures. I will be right here. In the corner. <laughs> no need for you to look at my ugly bum. We'll put a little music on. I'm sorry, it can't be John Farnham. But I think it sounds kind of like the voice.
All right, so what is this? This looks like some kind of Freemasonry something. Um, yeah, I don't know. I know Dave from Oz, a good friend of mine, told me about this prison. I think it looked like a... That's crazy. 2009. 18 something. I may have missed it. What is that, Bill Miller? Yeah, the Roundhouse Old Prison. Now, those look more like structures that I would assume was from before 1910. The further I go back, and this is a history channel, by the way, guys, that, from, that know me from the other channel, this is the third video. I will be putting this on both channels to promote this channel from that channel. <laughs> uh, or at least at the end of a, my next Oz video. So, I see this again and again. We've seen this with the uh, Super Centennial people. We did the first video. And Greg's been with me the other two reactions. He's just at work. But it seems like some of this stuff don't fit the narrative that we've all been told. Even all the way out there in Oz, it seems like. Well, I don't see as much stigma involved in this one, but there were some really, really big buildings being built in the United States. In LA and Atlantic City, we've done a video on that seemed to be, quite frankly, too developed for an undeveloped world. Look at that. See, that's sitting on top of an older structure. So, what is that? That looks so. I don't know. It doesn't look good. <laughs> the Weld Club of Earth. One way. Well, that's better than two ways. <laughs> and look, I mean, that looks almost like Egyptian-esque. Egyptian-esque. And Oz is not really a religious place now. Not nearly as much as any other country I've seen. There seems to be a lot of religious structures in Perth. In pre-1910. That looks like a church. Clock tower. Look at that. And those people look like British guards. And I know Oz has something to do with England or Great Britain. I know the, the Queen, if I'm not mistaken, came there. And that's where John Farnham first um, performed help. Paul Hogan was there. Olivia. Chemistry. McCarthy's Hotel. Now, I want to ask this real quick. Because I know about the coffee culture. I know how important it is to you guys. I know it's a long way to the shop to get a sausage roll. I also know that I'm a bloke. And ladies used to be Sheila's. And Starbucks got kicked out of Oz. Yet, they brought it back. But not because... Australians wanted it. That's for the tourists to keep them out of the coffee shops. Because it's like a religion to you guys. Tall black, black tall. Will Smith said, what the hell? <laughs> I've done a whole video on that. So It's good marketing, though. Keep the, the bloody... 
You guys call us Yanks. I don't like that because I'm from the South, even though I live in North Carolina. And biscuits and porn is my thing. <laughs> uh, let's see if I can do it. What the hell is I even asking? I don't know. I eat cookies sometimes. Probably come from some bakery in Oz. <laughs> There we go. Fremento, Western Australia, 1866. T.H.J. Brown. Fire station. Wow. My daughter is a fireman, firewoman, fire person. Look at the architecture. Look at people in suits. That looks really old. That looks like the Alamo or something. Wow. Another church. <sighs> That's either a school or a church. Main Street. I think that said Valentine. That was creepy as hell. What the hell is that? Opera House or something? St. Melvin. <laughs> or Sydney. Other boys try to understand it. Uh, factory something. Well, that dome looks like a telescope. There it is again. Well, it's like cabana or uh, gazebo type. Wow, that looks like England. That looks like the Bronx, <laughs> New York. Trolley cars. My father drove a train. That is a cool image. Look at all the power lines. You guys didn't have color TV to like 1982. <laughs> no, it was a, a 70, 67, 64, something like that. Four years after we got it, because of the ACD song, ACDC song, um, on a color TV screen, <laughs> yeah. That is a lot of power, though. That looks like more Transformers, I mean, I know there's trolley cars going there, but my God. Look at all those power poles. Laying tracks. Steam engine for a fire truck. Look how tall them guys are. Copernicus. It must be the Olympic Games. Look at the power lines. What is going on there? Somebody let me know in the comments why there's so many power lines. What is that? Albany Bell Confectioner. Is that coffee? <laughs> that must be either a girls' camp or a prison. Fermento. I'm not saying that right. Railway station. The beach. Look at you there. It's the mini year. It's cool. Those power poles are tripping me out. Starting to get cars in the picture. I think they didn't come around until the late 1800s. There's some really big buildings. Really wide, big, big built structures in Australia. At least 33 are injured. That must be the earthquake, yeah. 
swept away the southern half. Wow, look at that. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, mental health is you know, always a big deal for me. But I'm going to say that history can never be accurate because our memories aren't accurate. Or they're not reliable. And history is always written by the winners, so therefore history has always been edited in some form or another. Across all these imaginary lines that divide us and the oceans or ponds in between us. So, there is only now. We can learn from our mistakes, but we can never change anything. We can only evolve. So let's do that. Let's just be better. And let's try to reclaim our history. One video at a time. We'll find the truth, because it's out there, like Bexwell said. And John Farnham found his voice. So, and Jimmy Barnes found sobriety. <laughs> uh, and Vanessa Amorosi found my heart. So, much love. Eyes. Kiwis. Aussies. Danny Lee. OGH, I guess. Audi. <laughs>